This is the mobile phone footage Iran says shows the immediate aftermath of the bombing that killed a senior Hezbollah commander in Syria. On the night of February 12th, 2008, Imad Mugnia walked out of a restaurant. Mugnia had no idea, but two CIA officers were watching him, and they relayed the information to the Mossad in Tel Aviv. When he walked by an SUV that blew up and killed him. Mud Mugnia was the head of Hezbollah's uh, international uh, terrorist wing, the Islamic Jihad Organization. In Europe, they called it the External Security Organization. It was behind some of the most notorious acts of terrorism around the world in the 1980s and the 1990s in particular. Hitting the U.S. barracks in Beirut. A truck filled with explosives was driven into a compound in the midst of a Marine battalion headquarters, and the explosives were detonated. He was involved in the torture and killing of the CIA station chief in Lebanon. Then he's involved in the 1985 hijacking of a TWA airliner. He has pulled a hand grenade, Ted, and he is ready to blow up the aircraft if he has to. And the Israelis also wanted to kill him because of his role, they believed, in targeting the Jewish community center in Argentina. But before bin Laden put himself on the map, Mugnia was the number one terrorist threat in the world. And then it comes up again in the context of the war in Iraq where Hezbollah develops a dedicated unit to train Iraqi Shia militants under Imad Mugnia and several of his key deputies. The Mossad came to the CIA possibly as early as 2006 and said, we found Mugnia. It was a marriage of convenience. The CIA had a well-developed infrastructure in Damascus to carry out an operation like this. You need to understand that for American counterterrorism community, Imad Mugnia was personal. I'm told that the Israelis wanted to pull the trigger because it was a matter of revenge. I'm not sorry to see the fact that he was perished from this world. The CIA in the U.S. isn't associated with using car bombs to kill terrorists. I think some experts would say that is something terrorists do. Oh. Something criminal gangs do. They knew the blowback would be limited because everybody would be looking at the Mossad to have done this. That the United States had a personal issue of vendetta, that does not surprise. The details do surprise, of course.